Hey everyone, um, unfortunately this week I was way too busy to actually do a regular episode, but I still wanted to do something. So uh, what I decided I would do is I would do something a little bit different. I, I guess you could consider it a vlog or, well, maybe an audio log, or it probably would fall under the category of podcast, but uh, whatever. As you know, with the show that I usually do, uh, I talk about movies that I genuinely enjoy. Now, uh, there are certain movies that I absolutely positively love, but for whatever reason, they just wouldn't fit in well with the context of the shows that I usually do. Uh, either I just don't want to spoil them, or they're too new, or whatever. I just always wanted to talk about them, but I didn't want to dedicate an episode to them. So I figured I would take this opportunity to talk about some of my own personal favorite movies that you absolutely positively should see, but they'll never get a full episode of Good Bad Flicks. So first up is one of the best horror movies in history. It's called High Tension. It's a French movie directed by Alexander Aja, who is an incredible director. He has since gone on uh, to direct some American remakes. His uh, Hills Have Eyes remake was vastly superior to the original, in my humble opinion. He's such an incredible director, and I kind of wish that he could get away from doing the remakes in the U.S., because the stuff that he does... It's amazing, and it's really good, but I just have a feeling that he's going to get pigeonholed. But if you go back and you watch High Tension, it is absolutely positively fucking brilliant. It's one of those movies that I've seen a bunch of times. I always notice little things here and there. It just is so well done. It's amazing. One of my all-time favorites, probably in my top 10 greatest horror films of all time. There's another French movie on the list. Actually, you're going to see a bunch of foreign movies on this list because there are some outstanding foreign films that people in the U.S. really should see. Uh, I know one of the biggest complaints with people is that they don't like subtitles. Don't watch the dubbed version of the movies. Just watch them in their original language. I am the slowest reader in the world, and even I can keep up with the text on screen going with the movie. And usually after the first 10 minutes or so, you don't even realize that you're reading it anymore because a lot of times the foreign films are so freaking good and so well written that you're just going along with it. It doesn't take you out of the experience at all. Anyway, uh, back to Martyrs. Martyrs is a movie that uh, I am going to recommend, but I'm going to put a little asterisk on it. Asterisk? Asterisk? It's fucked up. The cover on the DVD is right. One of the most ferocious horror films ever made. It starts off kind of like a revenge movie, and then something happens. I'm not going to say what, but it goes in another direction, and it is bizarre. I've never seen another movie like it. The director himself even admitted that this was a movie that he made and he wanted to kind of get under people's skin and he knew that this was totally going to be a love it or hate it film that people were either going to absolutely identify with it or they were going to think that it sucked. And I give him a ton of credit for actually having the balls to put something like this together. There's no way that they could make this with the Hollywood machine and keep the tone of the movie and keep the whole point of it. I know they were trying to remake it a couple of years ago with Kristen Stewart in the lead. I almost want them to remake it just to see how terribly they're going to fail at it because this is one of those movies, I don't know if this is even a word, it's unremakeable. You can't remake it. There's no way that you could possibly take this and remake it for American consumption. The majority of America would expel this. There would be protests. They would hate it. Or they would remake it and they would just completely take all the punch out of it and it would suck a thousand dicks. Time Crimes is a movie that uh, the best way I can describe it is it's like angry Groundhog Day. This guy who's kind of a buffoon fucks up and keeps traveling back in time. Every time he travels back in time, he tries to fix things. But every time he travels back in time, he tries to fix things, but he fucks it up worse. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. And it's a very original film. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, I thought that the lead guy, uh, Hector, was so good because he's just... As he's traveling back 
over and over again. You can tell that this guy is just exhausted. He's tired. He doesn't want to do this anymore, but he has to. Uh, this is another one. This is a Spanish film, so there is some subtitles. Read the subtitles. This is Death Sentence. Death Sentence is from uh, James Wan, who uh, did Saw and Insidious. This was his kind of dabbling with uh, the revenge film. And it is unbelievable. Kevin Bacon's performance in it is incredible. He's amazingly good. I really like the guy. I, I always liked him. And uh, this was one of those movies that showed his range outside of a lot of the films that he had previously been in. It's one of Kevin Bacon's lesser known movies, even though it's only a couple years old. But uh, I, I think more people should check it out. Going back to France, there's another horror movie that is hands down one of the most brutal, mean-spirited, evil, messed up movies I ever saw called Inside. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I just heard that it was a movie that I had to see and it knocked my socks off. The concept I thought was great. It was another movie that was brutal from start to finish. It just kept getting more and more uncomfortable to watch. Not as uncomfortable as Martyrs, but uh, there were some things in there that were really messed up and um, might go outside of a few people's comfort zone. I don't have that problem, so I loved it. This is another one where I give it an incredible amount of recommendation, but eh, this isn't for everybody, so... Uh, it's a tough call. There are some people that are going to hate this movie because it's messed up. It's not nice. Bad things happen. Uh, I'm going to be really brief with what the film's about because I don't want to spoil anything. What it is, uh, there's this woman who is pregnant and she's very close to giving birth. And she is trapped in her house by this psychopath who is trying to kill her for some reason. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, the last movie I'm going to recommend is a movie called Old Boy. It's from South Korea. And I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, I'm absolutely positively serious. This movie is brilliant. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. I know I say a lot of this is the greatest thing, this is that. Eh, it's a little bit of my lingo. But seriously, this is by far one of the greatest movies ever made. And right now they're moving full ahead to remake this in the U.S. Don't watch the remade version. There's no way they can even come close to being able to remake this movie. It's another one that, uh, whereas Martyrs, uh, I was saying you couldn't remake it because of the, the tone and whatnot. This movie, there's just no way. They can't possibly do this movie. On the surface, it sounds like a revenge film. Uh, this guy, uh, he's kidnapped and he's in prison for 15 years. And one day he's just let go. You know, so he doesn't know why he was kidnapped. And now he doesn't know why uh, he was let go. So he is trying to find out why he was kidnapped. And you have no idea what's going to happen next. You don't know where the movie's headed and just have no idea what is going on. When it all does kind of come together, it will blow your fucking mind out of the back of your skull. I can't even believe that they're considering remaking this in the U.S. So out of all the movies that I'm recommending today, this is the one that you must see. This movie is so good, it actually changed my perception of film. It showed that there are still ideas out there that haven't been done yet. It made me very happy, and then consequently made me very sad when I found out that it was being remade. So with that, I leave you. Uh, I've got a really good episode lined up for next week, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.